Well, that's a lovely painting behind you. It's uh, part of the Aboriginal artwork that we have around. Uh, all the ministerial offices have Aboriginal artwork in them. Excellent. Well, we'll come back to that in a minute. When the Premier comes onto this program, we invariably end up talking about Lot 14 and entrepreneurship. In a minute, I will ask you to talk a bit about the Indigenous component, which is relevant to what you just said, but maybe now you can bring us up to speed on what's attracting your attention in this field. Oh, look, um, it's uh, amazing what is happening at Lot 14. I mean, if you recall, um, two years ago, uh, when um, Sir Marshall became the Premier, uh, that um, space there at the old rural Adelaide Hospital site was an abandoned hospital site with no plans. And we took a plan to the election to um, uh, do a series of, of, uh, of things on that site. One of them was an Aboriginal arts and cultural centre, and the other was a, um, an innovation centre. And I think on reflection, uh, we thought that um, uh, the Aboriginal um, cultural centre was going to be the main attraction, but uh, uh, it, it really is now working out that the um, entrepreneurial centre at Lot 14, the first of all, the startup hub where um, you can hire a desk for about $280 a month uh, and start your own uh, startup business and work with um, in an ecosystem with other people that are doing the same thing, uh, right through to um, uh, businesses from all around the world in the defence sector, in, uh, in um, the satellite sector. We've got five companies there that are uh, in, a, in the satellite business uh, on the site. Muriota, uh, who uh, yeah, are in the Internet of Things space, uh, and that was a, a product that was developed here uh, in South Australia just three years ago. It was really just not much more than an idea. It's now an international company. Uh, we've got um, Innovore, who are making nanosatellites. Uh, they recently won a worldwide uh, tender for um, Defence Science Technology, which is an arm of the Defence um, uh, Department of Defence for building the second satellite for the over-the-horizon uh, uh, buccaneer um, warning system uh, that uh, protects our uh, our shores from uh, unwanted guests. Uh, they're building that satellite. And what's uh, amazing about it, uh, Antonio, is that if um, I saw a, a prototype of it, and it's only about um, uh, 300 uh, millimetres long and about um, uh, 100 millimetres um, square. And uh, it's a two and a half million dollar contract. Uh, and that will be sending all of the data that we need uh, so that we can keep an eye on what's happening beyond the horizon uh, in, uh, in Australia through um, sending um, information from Earth up to space and then back down to uh, Earth where the uh, information is collected. Uh, and it is amazing um, uh, the at Lot 14 we also have the Cyber Security Centre and uh, one of the um, things that I saw uh, on the screen when I was there was the, the number of um, satellites uh, that are around the world now um, uh, that have um, continually gone up. Uh, it, it, uh, there's virtually no space for, um, for space up there. There's so much of it. Uh, and, um, and it's just so terrific that we here in South Australia with the Space Centre, which is also at Lot 14, uh, the um, Space Discovery Centre at Lot 14 uh, and Mission Control uh, are all at Lot 14. So we have this uh, brand new focus on space and the federal government's predicting that there'll be 20,000 people working in space, extra people working in space uh, over the next 10 years uh, across Australia. We're in a, a very good position to um, certainly have uh, many of those jobs here in South Australia.